Hey guys, welcome back to Cocky Gachas, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to manage your resources in this ultimate resource management game of ever. So let's dive right in. So the first things we are going to touch on is definitely the shop and the currency that are available to spend on the shops itself. So here we have the general shop, the release shop, labyrinth, town, arena, as well as the artifact shop. So let's go through them one by one. And the first thing we have on screen is the general shop and you can see here i did buy the mana crystals however just a side note disclaimer do not do this before chapter 13 or even midway chapter 13 you can do it end of chapter 12 i think but it's a bit more risky given that um you do want this mana crystals it's a really really hard gate later on but uh, in the earlier stages of the game if you were to buy it, it will really hamper you because the money that you can spend on this right your goal income is going to be extremely low in the early stages of the game you need them to level up your units you need them to do other stuff right you cannot really uh, spend it on mana crystals itself it's not going to be a problem in the mid game even um, when you when you level up your units right more often you're going to be gated by mana dust as well as the goal itself you're not going to be gated gated by mana crystals until you reach chapters 14 15 uh, approaching levels uh, 160 180 so that that is one thing that you have to note don't do it too early other than that do not buy the keep six right i think the keep six are absolute uh like bad value don't do it ever um, no matter how much the discount i don't think it's worth it the mana crystals for uh gems itself also i don't think it's that worth it unless you are like a mid spender then it will be worth it because it, it's a git and then if you can buy it every single day right you will prefer to do it uh, those with the mana pack itself you can have one free shop refresh and for that itself you can use it to buy the um, mana crystals two times but uh, you might run out of gold if you do it every single day so definitely take Note. next thing we are going to go to the release shop itself very simply you are going to buy every single soul memory uh, epic itself uh, all this uh, rare for those i would not buy it because if you take a look at their value proposition right just even looking at this random one so if you have a random one it's 1.5k times nine of them because an epic so uh, if you use it as a fodder it's going to be nine worth nine rares itself so if times nine times nine itself it actually exceeds uh, the value of this eleven thousand. so buy out all this and then uh, save your save your like uh, shards for the next month right so that you can buy out the soul memory again when the shop uh, like refreshes and you can see here 12 hours till it refreshes and i'm going to get two more uh freaking epics uh, hopefully it's going to be something good right so uh next thing we have the labyrinth shop and labyrinth shop if you're playing this game for the long term i would say for at least six months always buy the adrian if you're not playing it for at least six months you're playing it for less and you just want to collect units you either buy the epic soul itself or you buy a specific unit it's really up to you personally i'm saving for this and you can see i'm quite short of it uh, uh pre the refresh itself and the reason why is because uh, one day i was watching a show whilst i was like uh, doing labyrinth on my first monitor and then i accidentally uh, go the path without the mimic right so <laughs> yeah i got shafted a bit uh and it was due to my own mistake but never mind i'm gonna get it next month it doesn't matter if i really need to i can refresh it for 500 gems don't think it's worth it but someday maybe i'll need that one extra copy to save that one month who knows but for now save every single thing you have every single labyrinth coin you have into adrian souls and next the town shop itself this one is something that i've touched on another video in the town progression guide you can see that in detail but basically what i want to do is always buy this um stuff that give me mana uh, dust mana crystals mana uh, or rather gold itself right resources based uh, stuff i'm going to buy it more often never buy the part-time shops um all this towels itself they can be bought i don't think it's a big deal if you want to decorate your, your town but don't go overboard right unless you, you really like the town aspect then go for it but from progression standpoint try as much as possible prioritize all this uh, uh units or these objects that give you resources uh, touch more on the video in the town progression definitely check it out in the cut above and then next we have the arena shop so arena shop itself the rewards are pretty meh uh recently i've been i've taken the advice of one of my viewers and i've tried to push my arena rank you can see over here uh, i've been pushing arena rank every single day i'm around uh at the before refresh i'll be around 30 or rather uh, top 11 to 50 right so even then the arena rewards are a piece of trash so uh for the arena shop itself you can't really buy much i would think just say for ayame see whether they can increase more um rewards or ways of you getting arena coins and before deciding what to buy right i don't think it's worth buying this same thing right if you're not playing this for too long then just buy this right uh buy this soul memory epic random ones uh not no point saving for it this is going to take you super long even longer than adrian so yeah next we are going to have the artifact shop so this is very important i want to 
uh, put extra emphasis on it. Uh, artifact shop with the two times town progression event, right? Or two times a part time job event, you are going to get a lot of artifact coins, but do not spend on uh, too much on this. You can buy uh, like this from time to time, right? I do buy it as well, uh, but main things is every single day you are going to want to buy out every single um, artifact that is going to be useful to you so here itself i have the mika i have this um, nini uh, bad units right and ayame i'm not really sure whether i should buy the ayame but uh, that's why i didn't buy it but uh, just buy the units like at least uh, prioritize five units that you want the artifacts for and spend all your uh, artifact coins on this stuff itself next time maybe it will be key for you to buy this but uh, for now uh, try not to overdose on buying too many artifacts artifact stones uh, and, and the advanced like, artifact stones itself you're going to naturally get them and your uh, rate of getting the shards itself might not be able to match up even if you buy as much um, like artifact stones and art advanced artifact stones you cannot level it because you are hard cap at the fragments itself so fragments are top priority so now that we're done with the shop we are going to proceed to the bag itself I'm going to touch on certain key things that you have to take note right so uh, obvious stuff like the uh, leaf of life you always use it once you can open up another slot that's quite self-explanatory I don't think you guys need any help. The main things that you want to take note of is the um, idle, the common uh, idols, the 6 hours, the 12 hours, right? All those resources whereby you can immediately get the equivalent amount of um, resource itself for the specified hour, right? Try not to spend all this uh, simply because the uh, reward that you are going to get is really dependent on the current stage that you are at. So if you are on the early game itself, you are going to get a very minuscule amount of um, resource compared to when you are in the uh, mid-late game. So you can take for reference my resource, compare it to yourself, right? If you are early in the game, look at this. So one of these two hours get me 168k. I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot less if you're not on chapter 15 and because i'm in chapter 15 i get this much right and my strategy itself when it comes to this resources i did not open uh, i was quite hardcore like you can open a bit but i did not open a single resource any of this resource never opened before until chapter 13 so i had saved everything and even now right i have not opened a single uh, mana crystal because right now i still have a decent amount of mana crystals but uh, i'm not at the stage whereby i need the mana crystals given that my first unit so let's take a look at my first unit um, which is my talia here talia is reaching level 200 soon but i'm not planning to make it level 201 instead i'm going to go through the rest of my units making them uh, levels 161 right so to go to 161 you need to uh, have a 12k mana crystals for one unit itself so for five units that's 60k mana crystals which is why i say that mana crystals is an absolute important resource and that's why i am preferring to keep it for now until i reach maybe chapter 16 and then i'll open it to make my units uh, level 161 when that hits right so right now i know that's going to be a problem but uh not going to open it same things for mana does so when do you exactly want to uh, use it right it's not always the case of always hot hot and more hoarding right so when you want to use it is when you're reaching like maybe chapters 13 14 you are reaching a stage whereby you are going to get a key boost or if you hit like an origin unit right you want to level up your origin unit further up so that you can uh, significantly progress right if you open this uh, the theory is that if you open this up and it doesn't help you progress at least um, I would say five stages I don't think it's worth it to open that much and even when I open it up I always use like uh, half of it or maybe like 10 20 like just to see whether I can push on and clear that stage that I'm stuck on with just like minimal investment right there's no point in me going uh, like full on crazy and spending 10 M of the mana dust if it still starts me at the same stage later on most of the time when you clear that single stage you're going to be able to progress a few more stages uh, very easily without much more investment in mana dust or level so that's what I would advise and then next we move on um, so all these are on the same note right all these are the resource bundles I'm keeping it for now the same thing is that uh, I want to keep all this selection boxes if you get all these selection boxes if you're early in the game you might not get them but uh, if you do get them save them for now you wouldn't know what you need to use them for so save it and then always open the epic soul memory um, stuff as soon as you get them so that you can kind of progress right sometimes you need that one extra unit the only times i would say to save it is when you are waiting for a release of the new unit but don't go overboard with it um, 
it's it's very rare that you're going to get the unit uh, that is that is new itself right from this so saving it doesn't make much sense i over, always open this um whenever they come on right so once i get four more pieces i will use it and then for the uh, rare soul memory itself i also use it every single time i get it to 60 so this is very important for progression as for the keep six never upgrade any of them it's not worth your time not worth your goal it's cost you a lot of gold and the only time i would say to upgrade it is to upgrade one of this like epic ones right if i'm not wrong either the epic or the epic plus one where you can go to level 10 so yeah i think the epic ones you can also go to level 10 upgrade this to level 10 to complete the mission other than that don't spend your time don't spend your money uh, trying to figure out which keepsake to upgrade right on your screen you should be able to see that this keepsake itself is going to cost you freaking amounts of money even at higher tiers right uh the increment is not that beneficial so don't spend your money on this so next is the gifts and i'm just going to touch briefly this is very little min max right and if you thought it can't be min max it can be so here you can see the potato chips can uh the preferred souls there are four units here but for the lunchbox there's only one preferred soul so tldr just fit the um lunchbox to the ira first if you want to uh, give a gift to ira because this uh this thing itself this gift itself can only be used for her and no, no one else so that's how you min max the gifts and of course with this being an ultimate resource guide how can we miss out on the ultimate resource the everstones the everstones are very very important because they are your gateway to everything you can use it to buy whatever you want mostly in this game so they are very very flexible you want to uh, really choose where you want to spend them i would say that only spend everstones uh, on the um summon banners itself if you are free to play player uh, try not to spend it otherwise unless you are in the later stages right next time i think at this juncture in time chapter 15 there's still no point for free to play player to spend it on quick hunts but in the future there might be so that you can progress faster uh, i also do buy the uh, shop resources itself with everstones if i see a 40 percent discount but uh mostly i wouldn't do that and most importantly everstones are used for summoning so how do you want to spend them what do you want to spend them which banner itself you can go check out this video over here there's a cut on the top right con hand corner right in detail i will touch on how you should uh, choose which banner to summon but tldr if you just want the most value then definitely spend all your everstones on pickup banners i think this is the ultimate choice uh, past the early game early game spend it on the normal banner until you have a decent team then late game you're just going to spend it on pickup banners to pick up your favorite unit so that you can get them to origin right so this is the gist of it uh detail go check out that video like i said so next for the normal summon tickets i always use it as soon as i get it right and it feels good if i can break the pt before um, the guarantee hits right but i always use it as soon as possible i don't really save it um i don't find that there's any point in saving also next thing type tickets is the second most important resource i feel uh aside from like everstones when it comes to summoning so where do you want to spend your types uh summon tickets is very important mainly right now the strongest faction are the uh human and the fairy so i would choose one of those in the future this might change but uh, basically if you want the fastest progression you want to uh, spend them all on the faction that you want to progress with right maybe you want to progress with the undead uh, once velena comes out it's really up to you you can spend it on there so ideally spend it on the the faction banner uh, that you have the most units that you are looking to advance with or the faction that you're focusing with so this is very important next we have the friendship summon always spend it i don't know why i didn't spend it let's just do one see if we get lucky okay obviously we don't get lucky okay that's quite lucky having a photo i'll take it so always spend every single like friendship summon you have right don't bother saving it uh if you are thinking of the rare chance of hitting a new unit uh since felonite is coming in two days up to you but i will summon every single time i have and lastly i'm going to touch on this resource that people often forget and often overlook and that is hired units so this itself is a very key resource when it comes to your progression i would think more important than a lot of that mana dust management all this right it, it's really less important if you have like strong friend units on your friend list they are an important resource and every day you can only hire five of those which means you only have five of those resources on a daily basis don't use it uh, uh, like uh, nearly willy on every single stage right what you want to do is to keep the strongest unit for those elite and boss stages and then subsequently those uh, lesser important ones i can keep them for the uh, other stages so what i really want to do is to try to save all these um, units to the end of the day however um, you can see that uh, i've hired four of these units and in fact i've already used up this guy and uh, also this and this so uh, i don't really save to the end of the day anymore because i feel like the early of day 
earlier uh, that I use it, right? Maybe I can break point it and I can get more like a passive income that way. But in the early stages, right, it's going to be more of a save to the end of the day strategy for you guys. For me right now, I'm on chapter 15. It's very hard to progress. There's not much difference and I don't really gain that much uh, levels or progress throughout the day itself, right? Through AFK rewards. So I'm going to use it at the start of the day. For early game players, I would say up to chapter 12, 13. Only use it at the end of the day if you want to min max, right? But uh, use it importantly on elite stages in boss stages uh, that's your priority when it comes to early mid game and that about does it for the ultimate resource guide that i've been delaying for quite some time because i truly wanted to progress more into the game have better understanding before i spread out this um, guidance or knowledge to more people right in case i get things wrong and then lead people down the wrong path uh, that is not something i want to do so i truly hope that you guys benefited from this and can progress much faster from here on out and as i mentioned spending the everstones on the pickup banners are your best choice and that is why you you definitely want to check out this video where i touch on why that is the case i know a lot of people are not convinced so watch this for yourself think about it and maybe you would be converted to a pickup banner puller only i'll see you guys over there this is Conky gachas signing off